Welcome my friends, in this tutorial I will show you how to create such navigation with toggle effect. So as you see we have mobile view right now and when we click we have menu items and when we hover we have padding, this animation and uh, we can close it and open. It works great also in desktop view, so you have this navigation. And as you see, it works great in the desktop view as well. So let's start and create such great animation. But before, don't forget to subscribe my channel Travels Code and like this video, and soon you will get more interesting, useful tutorials. We will start from the beginning. In Visual Studio Code, it's free, so we will use this one. Let's open new folder. It will be mobile navigation, we already created it, or you can create new folder, let's open it, and uh, in files what we need, we need to create three at least different files. First of all let's start its index.html, then let's create style. CSS and uh, one more it's normalize CSS. Normalize CSS just to overwrite all default styles. We will use this normalize CSS. We can open on GitHub. Link will be in the description and uh, let's copy raw file and let's copy this section. We need this one. And now we need to include these two files. So let's add the link CSS for style CSS and uh, for normalize. Okay, now we need to create some body structure. Let's create first div with class screen and inside we will have header header let's start from the let's start from the target burger We need the unordered list and two empty list items. And now we can start customizing these items. Let's go to styles CSS. First of all, let's start from the body general styles. We will set some default styles what we need. And let's start from header. We need to put it on the top of the screen and on the left top side. So let's put this and let's add that index 15, for example. And now we need the customized target burger.
So we need the width and height. Then we will add some margin from the sides, top and left. Also display display block and um, we need some transition. It's animation effect. It will look better with this effect. And when we hover on this element, we need to add some opacity. For example, 45% and change cursor. The next one, what uh, we need to change uh, the items that we have inside. Again, we will set width, some style. We need some margin, margin just to move it 50% right or top. Add some padding, uh, top and left. Um, we will add some transition. We can even skip this WebKit prefix. We will use only for Chrome. And again, transition, we need transition this animation, how we will behave with the items and uh, transform, translate that zero, it's for speed up. When we use this part, we will use um, computer video card and it will speed up rendering. Let's add additional styles for the items and for the last one we need to rotate it in the opposite way. So now we can save these changes and let's run what we have. Let's open on the one screen and we will see what we have. Let's inspect. We have header and we have our the items. It's almost what we need. Now let's change the ground color to see what we have. For this one, for example. And we need to rename styles CSS. It's not this style. Now, okay. So now, as you see, we have background and we see our the items. It's what we need. The next one, very important part. When we click, we need to change behavior. We need to scroll. We need to rotate these items. To do it, we need to add some JavaScript. Let's add new file. What we need to do when we click this item, we need to add toggled class to body element, only one class. So first of all, we need to wait when DOM will be loaded. And in this case, we will have this menu item and now we can find it. We will use document query selector and uh, attach click event. Okay, using document query selector target burger we will add event listener click and when we click we need the change uh, class for body. To do it we will use class list toggle and uh, change this toggled. In this case we don't use any other library or something like it, we use only native JavaScript. Now we can save it and uh, check. So take a look at body, let's reload. And uh, we created this script, but we need to include this script. So script JS and reload this page. So as you see, we added toggled class, class. So when we click, we add and remove, it works. Now we need to add behavior for toggled state for this item, this component. 
This one is pretty easy. For the first one, we will rotate it 45 degrees when we have toggled class. And for the second one, the same, but minus 45 degree. Let's save it. And as you see, it works great. So we finished this component. The next one we need add menu navigation. So under the header, let's create a new section. So we will add now component navigation and inside on order at least we will have five items, menu items and now we need to customize these items. So by default we will hide it. When we click this button, we will show this elements. We don't need script JS anymore, we can hide it and normalize CSS as well. We are working only with two of these files. Now let's change styles for, for example, menu. Let's separate it. First of all, let's hide this element. We need change position, that index and uh, it's for default state. Let's take a look. Well, we don't see it, but when we are toggled and uh, click this part, this component, we need to show it. To show it, we will change that index and opacity we will set one. Also, we are adding, adding uh, transition and transform. Transform for scaling and uh, transition for this animation. So as you see, we have this great animation. Then let's change some uh, the item items in this menu. So what we added, we have padding. Everything we calculating in EM size. Then we can change changing only font size of the body. We will recalculate all sizes for this page. Then we have border bottom, it's uh, white with uh, some big opacity, list style none, we don't need dots before the list items, and changing some styles for links inside, it's of course color and uh, font size. We're doing it a bit bigger than regular font size, and of course transition for this great animation. For the last uh, item, we don't need border. And the last part is uh, when we hover this element, we need to add some additional padding. Let's save it. And we have what we need. It's almost done. Let's add some background and the content part and uh, changing and we will change a bit colors and font. So inside inside this screen under navigation, we need to put a container with the content. I think what we will use we will save in this content content component. Okay, what we need? First of all, it's with 100%. Then, mean height is 100 window height, so we will take the whole screen. And we need to put some background. For background, we can find um, This background, let's open this image for example, it's pretty big what we need and we need just copy image address. We can close it, 
So background source, let's put this and uh, additional rules. We need it in the center from the top and uh, top bottom and left right and we don't need to repeat it. Also we want background size its cover and it will be everywhere and it's not source it's URL okay now it is better what we didn't add it's this uh, filter blurring for content let's add it We change position, position relative and transition. Anim it's for animation. And now, we, when we toggle, we need to add uh, filter. It's blur eight pixels. It's an opera. And now, as you see, it's blurring. Also, what we need to change, as you see, we have background this uh, brown shadow on the borders let's change it what we need to do for body we need change color to something from the picture let's copy now it's better one more fix it's uh, font style let's change uh, the font we will use font face sore sans pro and uh, let's add it to our body component body tag And now we have another font. So let's test it. Let's do it for the for whole screen. We implement the behavior for all components we need. Also, it looks great in mobile and desktop view. For example, for desktop. Also, if you need to change font size, for example, or all sizes, as we mentioned before, we can change font size for, for the body component for example as you see when we increase size everything is automatically recalculated only one thing we need for toggle state remove padding And we will set box, box size and border box. And as you see, now it's recalculated in another way. Let's copy. And uh, that's it. We implemented this behavior. So. All this code you will you can find on my GitHub. Let's
All sources are saved on GitHub and you can copy any part if you need. So thank you for watching, subscribe to my channel and soon you will get more interesting and useful tutorials how to use HTML and CSS.